Hey, what's up guys? It's Gage from ARG, and today we're going to be talking about Dynamist Rex, which is probably one of the many new Dynamist cars we're going to be seeing in Breakers of Shadow, which I guess that's a set coming out next year in January, so it's quite a bit far away, but it is just something to talk about, as it is a new archetype that we're going to be seeing coming up. Now, there's not too much known about the archetype it is. We don't exactly know what the whole conjunction is with it what exactly the whole art type does but i think we can make some inferences off just this one card we have here so i'm going to read off the card as always for you guys that are tuning in to watch it's on the screen if you guys want to read it but for people just tuning in to listen i will read it off for you guys we have dynamist rex the level 5 water machine type pendulum effect monster pendulum scale 6 2400 attack 2200 defense uh pendulum effect reads when a card or uh, effect resolves that targets another dynamist card you control at activation you can negate that effect then destroy this card this effect can only be used once while this card is in your pendulum zone and its first effect as a monster reads at the end of the damage step if this card attacked you can tribute one other dynamist monster then activate one of these effects this card can make a second attack on your opponent's monster in a row, and if it attacks a defense position monster, do piercing damage, and shuffle into the deck either one card your opponent controls, or one random card from your opponent's hand, and then this card gains 100 attack. So, I think this is a really neat card, if you ask me, just to, in the art type itself, if we can make inferences off of what exactly it does, I believe it's something that focuses around uh, tributing off other dynamist monsters on the field to activate effects as the monster effects and of course having the pendulum player being able to destroy itself in the pendulum zone to have kind of a negation effect on targets like a forbidden lance if you will or if they're been in ch not chalice no they're like forbidden dress if you will that's probably more of a better um correlation so it's something like that i i don't think all of them are going to have that effect while in the pendulum zone i think there's going to be other ones but i think they're going to focus on of course having that flare uh that charm of getting them into the uh extra deck to be able to bring them out in swarms and then use uh their monster effects to be able to tribute off each other to do some pretty devastating things as we can see by uh rex's effect here which uh it can make a second attack in a row and if it attacks defense position monster inflict piercing damage so this is pretty cool because you can actually climb the ladder because uh you're able to use its effect as many times as you want so you can go attack and then tribute another dynamist monster attack again uh then tribute another dynamist monster and pick a card from your opponent's hand or their field so that's pretty dope i really like how that works uh how that's kind of a ladder effect but i don't think we'll be seeing that on all of them but definitely having the fact that they work off of tributing each other i think that's really cool in itself also uh something to note is that they're not really small monsters because we have a uh rank six scale we can assume that everything's going to be level five or below uh, if this is the highest, well, this is probably the highest. I wouldn't see why this isn't. So, being a six, we're going to have five or below monsters. That's pretty uh, interesting. Uh, we might have more uh, access to the rank four engine that is so popular nowadays. And we might have access to rank fives just with the inclusion of Rex. But even if you can't access the extra deck with it, just having uh, the ability to swarm the board with a whole bunch of dynamis monsters that just do a whole bunch of things in an, a very aggro push seems like something really valuable and something really awesome to look at i'm excited to see what the rest of this archetype does i definitely like how it's also a machine so you can um what's it called you can limit or remove all your machines and just do for big damage like imagine a rex on limited removal with piercing just going pow pow and then pick a card from the hand that's pretty dope if you ask me i like i'm really excited for that uh, it seems like there's a lot uh, that this I can do. It has a lot of OTK potential right off the bat, it looks like, but, uh, you know, there is still more to come, and I'm really excited to see what that is, and I will definitely update you guys when I see more Dynamist cards being released. Also, the artwork is none short of amazing. Like, this looks dope. They're like, I I've said dope like 300 times in this video, but, like, this is a mechanical dinosaur. Like, that's that's freaking awesome. Like, I don't know. I don't know how you can't say that's awesome. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of the Dynamist uh, archetype down below. Do you have any ideas of what it might do? Or do you think I'm pretty spot on? Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, and if you guys want to buy or sell products, if you want to attend Hello Event, and if you want to read articles from the toppest of top of players, alterreatagames.com is your place to go check out. Be sure to like our Facebook fan page and subscribe to our Twitch stream if you haven't already. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Gage from Energy, signing out. Whew.